What's up guys? It's uh, Nick again with Paper Weapon Studios and uh, this is part two to the L Paper L96A1 uh, tutorial. So you learned in the first video how to make the basic skeleton of the gun here. So now we're going to learn how to put um, the stock together fully and then we're going to learn the rest of the gun in this little tutorial here. It's probably going to be just about as long as the um, previous one, um, if not a little bit shorter. So the first thing that we're going to want to do is we're going to want to take uh, just a sheet of paper and make it into a medium sized cube like we have been doing. Just, just about the same size as everything else. Tape it together. Alright, now so that we have all this piece, we're going to tape it, or actually we're going to cut it, um, let's say just about maybe three or so inches long, maybe maybe a little longer, but just probably about like this long, and then we're going to have three pieces, or maybe just two, yeah, just two pieces just like that. So you're going to have two pieces like this, tape them together. Okay, then after you tape them together, go ahead and put them onto the bottom of the gun, just like this. Go ahead and tape it on there. And you know what, I think we can make this even more of a dramatic uh, little part of the stock here. So we're actually going to make another tube, just about the same size. And then we still have a piece from the other one. So we're just going to probably tape this once, and then cut it to size. Okay, so you have two more, and you want to tape these together. And then tape them onto the gun again. Alright, just like that, so you can see that that's kind of how the bottom of the stock is going to look. And now, we're actually going to move up, so I don't know if you can see this right here, so we're actually going to move up to right here, and then we're actually going to make a little bit um, of the same kind of a thing. We're going to roll up a piece of paper, and then put two pieces of paper um, just about this long to the connection point, if you can tell right here, so about right here to right here. So go ahead and do that. Alright, so now once you have two pieces, what you're going to want to do is just tape it. Okay, so once you're going to do, once you've done that, go ahead and just tape these two pieces right onto there, right there. Alright, so after you've done that, you can see that we have a nice little gap in between here, just like a real stock on the L96, and then once we cover it with paper, it'll make the illusion as though that's how it's actually uh, shaped, so... That's kind of cool uh, how you can do that there. So now that we're actually done uh, with the skeleton part of the stock for now, what we're going to do is actually we're going to start making the uh, circular piece right here for the gun. So I think how we're going to do that is that I'm going to just take a regular piece of paper just like this, and then we're going to make it into a tube, except this one's going to be a lot bigger than what we have been doing, so it's probably going to be around... Oh, I'd say probably around uh, this big, maybe a little bigger here. And then you're going to want to tape it together and flatten it out. Alright, so once you flatten it out just like this, we're going to make it into the circle that we want. So we're going to try and form it into about roughly the size of what we want. So we're going to uh, take the stock and make it circle so that it will be just about the size of what we want now we've got a nice little circle like that right here then you're going to want to find a way to just kind of tape it onto the gun itself so I can see it you can see it right here all I'm going to do is probably tape it around like right here right here and then right here and then how we're going to make it look 
like it should be, is that all we're going to do is cover the paper except cut out the circle while we do it, and then it'll make sense once we start doing it. So um, basically just tape the piece of paper here into this part of the stock, and then uh, we'll go on from there. Alright, so once you got the circle in there, you can go ahead and cover that part up with paper. So all we're going to need to do for that is that we're going to take a regular sheet of paper and we're going to tape it right onto the top here. So you can see that on the top here we're just going to tape it, except we're going to want to make sure that the edge of the piece of paper is on the um, end of the stock. Okay, so once we have that taped onto there, what we're going to want to do is that we're going to cut pieces out here. So you're going to see that once we stretch it tight over the actual stock itself, you're going to want to cut slits into where um, the jut outs are on the bottom of the stock. So you're going to make one right about right there, and check out where the other one is. And then Put one right there. That way, you can tape it onto the other side, and then bring these over here. So you can kind of see here the back of the stock, and then you're going to want to do the same thing to the other side. Okay, so once you're done covering both sides, just like I did, I already had, I went ahead and took the liberty to um, cover this back side too. I just kind of folded it over, but you're probably going to want to put another piece of paper right here um, in the end. But then uh, what you're going to want to do now is that you want to cut it out, cut the circle out on both sides so that uh, you can actually see the whole circle. Alright, now once you have the circle cut out, go ahead and tape the uh, all the jagged edges are on there so that it's not jagged anymore alright so now once you have all these taped off go ahead and take a piece of paper and cut it out to where it'll be um, the exact shape of this right here and then go ahead and cover up this little hole here so that way the whole stock will look like it's covered Okay, so now you should be finished basically with the stock. Now that you've taped both sides um, uh, from the hole here, so basically you're going to have it just like this, and the stock should be basically completed. So with that, we're actually going to start making, um, or actually covering the rest of the gun now. So, um, we should be going right over here. To around the front side of the gun now, you're going to want to take a whole sheet of paper and then you're going to want to cover it from the edge of where um, the, the angle out part starts right here. So about right here all the way to the end except you're going to want to leave overhang on the end, not where the angle starts, if that makes sense. So you're going to want to cover the whole thing with with the piece hanging out on the end of the gun. All right, now once you've covered the front part here, what you're going to want to do is that you're going to want to take it, and you can see how you got a little extra space here. Go ahead and cut on the four corners right here of where of the box. Go ahead and cut like here, here. Here and here. So that way you can just go ahead and fold it all within itself. But you don't want to tape it just yet because you're actually going to want to cut pieces of this off. Probably about half of the excess off of each, like, I guess we'll just call them flare-outs. So, 
The reason why is because you want to cover this up with the excess parts here, except you want to leave the middle tube um, open on the end. That way you can actually fit the bipod in there once we make it. So go ahead and do that, except to make sure that you leave space in the middle so that the middle tube is uh, still visible. Okay, so you can see that I did just that. I went ahead and covered the front part of the gun, but I left a, a hole in the middle. That way you can put the bipod in there once we make it. Okay, so you can see that we still have a little bit uncovered yet. So what we're going to want to do is that we're actually going to want to cover the top here, the whole top area, and then we're going to want to find a way to cover um, this angle part here. So how we're going to cover the angle part is I think I have this little strip of paper here. Um, that was left over from the other um, the other piece, but uh, I don't think this is big enough. So we're actually going to start with like fresh piece of paper, just about like this, or I guess like this, and then we're going to um, just fit it over the um, angle part of the body of the gun. So we're just going to tape it right onto the top, just like this, and then we're going to wrap it around and just basically cut it so that it fits to size and then just keep wrapping it around and tape it once you're done. <clears throat> Alright, so I went ahead and covered everything <laughs> on the gun itself. So you can see that I covered the stock, I covered the angled part of the body of the gun here, and then I also covered the top part here that wasn't covered before. So basically, I just covered everything in paper. And you can go ahead and do that too, because right now we're actually going to focus on the barrel itself and then we're going to be working on how to do the uh, breech, breech load um, bolt action thing going on there. So first, like we have been doing in all my other tutorials, and if this, if this is the first one you've watched, then how I always start the barrels of my guns is that I take, of course, just a sheet of paper, and then I always start with the very end of the barrel first. So I always want to make it a little bigger than what I want my barrel as a whole to be. So I'm thinking for this one, you might want to make it like a quarter size. Like if you put a quarter in here, that'd be about the diameter of one. So probably around like this big, maybe a little bigger. And then we're going to tape this one up. Okay, so once you've taped this tube up nice and neat, you're going to want to make another tube inside of this tube. And then you're going to want to keep going with this pattern for about maybe three tubes or so. So basically just measure it like we have been doing with the whole gun, except this is the actual barrel, so you're going to make it pretty neat. And then just kind of measure it out and then tape it as you pull it out. Alright, so once you got two down, you're going to put a third one in here. Alright, so now that you have all three barrels taped together, we're going to actually put it onto the gun and kind of check it out, check out how we're doing here. So it depends kind of like how your gun is. But you're going to want to make it so that it has at least probably this much room sticking off, maybe a little bit longer. So you're going to want to make sure that you've got at least maybe a full length of papers room off of the gun. I'm assuming that's probably how long it is. I'm looking at a picture right here, and it's probably going to be actually a little longer than that. So, you want to make sure that the barrel sticks out. Maybe like one and a half sheets of paper out outwards, just like that. So now we're actually thinking about making, or I'm thinking about, <laughs> I should say we, it makes me sound like I have like multiple personality disorder or something, but I'm talking to you guys too, so I guess we're making it together in a way. <laughs> anyway, we're probably going to want to make another tube that goes inside this one and maybe another one, but we'll have to see. So let's go ahead and do that, make a fourth tube. Good right there. We have the four tubes taped inside of each other, and then that looks good just about right there. So now, how we're actually going to make the bolt action piece is actually pretty easy. I'm going to show you how to do that right now. All we need to do is that we need to take a piece like this, and then we just need to make sure 
that uh, we need to wrap some around here so that it'll actually um, look like the, uh, the piece that we want it to look like. So I'm going to show you how to do that here. So instead of wrapping some around it right now, we're actually going to make um, the chamber for it. But I forgot to tape this up here. So just wait a second. Make sure they uh, seal each place where the tubes meet. So then, once I look at this here, I'm thinking that I'm going to need a pencil or something to mark off where I'm going to cut it at. So, pencil, something like this. And then, mark the spot where you want your tube to stop on the very end of the gun. So, I'll just kind of mark it right about here. Find it, I'm marking mine just like right about there if you can see that and so then I can put this aside and make sure that I have the right spot and then I'm going to take this to the very end like the back of it and then I'm going to cut out the part where the bolt is going to go so taking a look at the picture here it looks like it only opens up a good oh I'd say uh, around like three inches maybe four inches or so and it starts right above where the magazine is going to go so the magazine is going to go probably around like right here or so so from here to here because the trigger is going to go from about here to here so we're going to start here and then it's going to probably be right around here So you can kind of see what I did there. I just marked two little spots right there, and then I'm going to cut open a chamber inside of there. Alright, so you can see here that on the end, or on, in the tube here close to the end, I cut out a little bit of a um, chamber here for the bolt. So we can actually tape this onto our gun now, the barrel that is. So find that notch that you made where you want your gun to be and then go ahead and just tape the barrel onto it and make it make sure that it's centered onto the top of the gun. Alright, you're going to see here that once I taped it onto the gun here, you can see that I've got a little bit of excess on the back here so I'm going to want to cut this off just about right on top of where the circle for where you put your thumb starts. It's just about like that right there. Maybe a little bit of part there. Just like that there. And then make sure that the, the chamber here, right here, is actually taped down on the gun as well. Alright, so you can see here that I've got the chamber open here, and now we're actually going to make the bolt that will go inside of it. So, it's actually pretty simple. What we're going to want to do is take another sheet of paper, just like this. Probably, we're going to want to actually make it into a tube the short way, and then make sure that you make it smaller than the main barrel. And then you're going to want to measure it into the barrel. Making sure that it's still tight inside of here, but it will slide back and forth easily. Okay, so once you fit the bolt into there, and then you see that it slides back and forth nicely, what you're going to want to do is actually cut it off at the point, uh, just about right here, I would say. So probably leave maybe an inch or two of room outside of the chamber somewhere. So here you can see that the the bolt is probably about like is about this long here, outside of this. And we're gonna leave that much room because we're actually going to make um, something that's gonna wrap around here for the actual bolt itself, and then we're going to um, have a uh, a little squarish kind of looking thing on here. So, how we're going to do that is that we're going to take 
just something like this. Look at this here. So I'm trying to look here, see what we need. I think at first, I think I made this just a little too long yet. So we're going to cut this off right about here, making sure I still have enough room for there. So it's only about an inch or two of room from the end of the chamber to the back of here. And that way we'll leave enough room for uh, for our uh, bolts and how we're going to make that work and everything. So, after I finish this. Alright, now we're going to take the bolt, so take the bolt out of the, uh, the chamber here. And then on the end of it, we're going to make... Just take like something, maybe about like this, kind of like a sheet of paper like this, and wrap it around this here, and then it's actually probably going to be a little skinnier than this. Let's make it as even as possible. It's probably just about like this piece of paper like that. Make sure you wrap it around here so that it fits onto there, but it's not too tight. That way it can still kind of slide or like spin around the tube itself. Let's take like that little piece of paper, wrap it around here, Tape the the band that we made. Do not tape it onto the bolt itself. Just tape it, just tape it around it. So do not tape it to the bolt itself. That way it'll still be able to spin while we have it on the bolt. And the reason for that is because when you lift up the bolt, or when you lift up yeah, when you lift up the uh, handle for the bolt, um, this will spin but the actual um, square part of the end will not. So that way, when you lift it up, it looks cool because when you lift it up, you'll be able to pull it back and uh, it'll still look um, pretty cool that way. So um, we're going to make the actual bolt handle now. And how we're going to do that is that we're just going to take a normal piece of paper again, just like this, leaving this aside, the bolt aside for now. We're going to take a regular sheet of paper again and then we're going to turn it probably sideways and then you're going to make a very skinny tube. Alright, so now once you have this really skinny tube made, you're just going to want to tape it probably just three inches. And then cut it off just about at the four inch point, three or four inch point here. So you'll end up with a skinny tube just about this long. And then what we're going to do is make little flare outs on it so that you'll be able to tape it onto the bolt itself. So what we're going to do is take our scissors in here. It's going to be a little hard to do, but it's possible. So you're going to make these little flare outs in the end. So if you can see what I did there, all I did was cut two slits inside of the small little tube here and then I just flared it out on the side there. Now. What you're going to want to do is take your bolt again, and then you're going to want to tape this onto the ring we put around the bolt, not the actual bolt itself. And make sure that it's taped securely on there. Alright, so you can kind of see how that works here. I got the bolt here with this taped around the ring, and you can hold the bolt while this is still able to go up and down just like this. So with that, we're going to make the ball that actually goes onto the end of this here. This is actually going to be a little trickier than, than I thought, but we're just going to bend this down just a slight bit. So that way it'll uh, act as though it has that bend in the metal there. And then I don't think we actually need this much of the tube here, so you can actually cut it off to so a half an inch. So in the end, it's going to look something like this on the end. And then I think how I want to do this is that I want to take just like a scratch piece of paper like this and make it into like a ball, just like scrunched up piece of paper, kind of like this. I maybe want it a little bigger. Okay, so once you have a scrunched up piece of paper like this, how you're going to make it into like a neater, kind of like a ball shape, is that you're going to want to take long strips of paper like this, cut them into skinnier strips, 
like pretty skinny strips, kind of like this. And then you're going to want to wrap it around here multiple times. So that way it gives the illusion that it's, it's kind of straight, or it's kind of like round instead of just like a big jagged ball of paper, or like a wad of paper. So go ahead and do that, and then you can go ahead and do that multiple times to make it um, look good. Right, as you can see here that I made this little ball basically wrapped the wad of paper with like little strips of paper and from a distance people won't be able to tell you know that it's just a balled up piece of paper so now you just want to find a way to just kind of tape it onto the end of the the bolt handle here okay so once you have the bolt done here you got that done we're going to want to actually make a little squarish part that's going to go onto the back of here and it's pretty easy all you got to do is roll a piece of paper but kind of like flatten it out as you roll it. It's probably just around like this big. And then go ahead and tape it up here just like this. So you're going to end up with a flattened tube just about like this. And then we're going to cut this into a couple pieces to fit the lamp of where what we want our little square box to be. So I guess that is going to be just about like that long. And then cut another piece just like this one. And we end up with two pieces just about like this long. And then we're going to have two smaller pieces that are just going to go on the side. So you can see with like these pieces, we're going to kind of like make a box. So how we're going to do that is that we're actually just going to take this here and then tape it onto one of these that are going to be one of our side ones. So just kind of tape it onto there like that, if you can see that there. That's all I do is tape it on here and then tape the other pieces together accordingly. Okay, so in the end you're going to end up with like a little box just like this. You're just going to want to slip it right onto the end of here and then tape it onto there. Okay, so you can see all I did there was that I just taped the box onto there so that it looks kind of like the, the back of the bolt and you can see here that when I lift this up that it, uh, it doesn't move, you know, just how we wanted it. So it's not too hard to, to make, just like that. And we're going to slip it back into the gun. So that way, when you look at this, you're just going to lift this up, pull it out, and that way it looks just like how it should. Just like that. Boom. Okay, so well, now that we have that made, we're actually going to want to make the little squarish, um, the little squarish, I guess you could say that it's like a chamber cover um, that the actual L96 has. So, as soon as I can figure out how to unlock my computer, right here. Okay, awesome. Right here, we're actually going to make kind of like a little bit of a box over this. So how we're going to do that is that we're just going to take a regular piece of paper like this and it's almost like we're going to be covering it except not really. And I'll show you what I mean here. So I'm actually going to fold this in half the hot dog way or the long way. And then we're going to fit it over the bolt here so you can see that we're going to kind of like see where this needs to be cut off here just about like right here and then we only need it to be around I'd say like six or so inches long so we're going to go ahead and do that make it that long we're going to want to fold this so that it looks as though well first we're actually going to want to 
tape tape the edges here. Just like this. Okay, so once we have the edges taped on here, we're going to fold it to make it look as though it's that like boxy shape outside of the chamber. So you can kind of see what I did there, I just kind of folded it to make it look in a boxy kind of a shape. And then I'm just going to fold it right over this here. But first, we need to make sure that we cut out a part, or we need to cut out a space for our chamber to go, or so that we can put our bolt in eventually. So how are we going to do that? First, I need to make this a little bit shorter. So we're going to make sure that we measure this um, kind of right here. Measure out the place where you want to. Probably take your pencil and then measure out where you're going to cut it out. All right, so you can see that I just kind of cut out the little hole for the chamber there, and then all you're going to want to do is tape it right onto the top of this here so that it'll look like that all right so once you've done that you're basically done with the uh, bolt parts you might want to make a blow tube to go in right in the back of there so that when you uh, open up the gun here look just like like, like this open it up just like that um, you're going to want to uh, blow right through here and you uh, close it so that's how you'll fire it right through the back of there. So now we're actually going to add the uh, um, part where you're going to put the scope on. So basically all you need for that is that I think I'm going to make sort of like a rail system-ish, but uh, I don't think it's going to be all that fancy. I think all I need to do is uh, roll a sheet of paper to about like this long. it just about like medium sized and then tape it you only need to tape it as long as the uh, fake metal part that we made so then you're going to want to measure it out for this part right here so you can see this you're just going to want to measure it just about this length right here. And cut it off here. Flatten the tube out. And then we're going to want to tape it onto here. But you're actually going to want to um, tape it on there a different way. So you can tape it on the bottom by just making it like a little circu circle of tape here like this, just kind of like make a circle of tape just like this, tape it onto the bottom, maybe in about two or three different places. Have it taped three spots, and then tape it down onto the gun. Okay, so you're going to have like a little bit of a rail system there, and then once I make the scope, you can just slide it right onto there. Alright, so once you've made the uh, little scope rail here, what we're going to want to do is that we're actually going to make the trigger guard and then the place where the magazine is going to go into. So it's pretty easy to make the trigger guard. All we're going to need is probably around uh, one sheet of paper will probably do it for the whole thing. So now we're going to take it the long way and then maybe make it like an inch and a half of a flattened tube like this all the way and then tape it okay so then once you've taped it you're going to want to form it into a small circle probably no bigger than that right there and then go ahead and cut off the excess right there and then 
tape this together as a circle. Okay, so then once you have this circle piece done here, we're actually going to make the trigger where we're probably just going to take a little bit of excess from our piece here that we made the trigger from, and then, or that we made the trigger guard from, and then we're going to take this and probably cut it right about like this. That way, you have a little strip kind of like that. And then we already have pretty much ready-made flare-outs here. We're going to want to cut one side. Just like that. And then tape the rest. But leave a little room on the top so that we can make flare-outs on the top. <clears throat> then you can see what I did there. Just made the flare-outs there. And then you're going to want to tape it onto the trigger guard. Okay, so now that once you have the trigger taped onto the trigger guard, you're going to want to tape the trigger guard onto the gun itself, which is right where a trigger would go, which is just about right, right here. I'm oh, sorry, I can't really see that very well, but I mean, you pretty much get the gist of it. Just tape it right there, right onto where it should go. Alright, so now that you have the trigger guard and trigger taped onto the gun itself, we're going to make the magazine well. So that's pretty easy. We're going to take a regular sheet of paper, just like this, and then we're going to make it into a tube, pretty much normal sized tubes, and then tape it together. All taped together, what we're going to do is that we're actually going to make little tubes out of this, so you can see here the space in between the trigger guard and um, the part where this uh, angles out here. We're going to make tubes that are about that long and then make as many as you can from that tube right there that we just made. Okay, so once you made these three, you're going to want to make another tube and make th three more pieces just like this. Alright, so now that you have the six tubes like this, you're going to want to tape them three and three. So you're going to take each set of three and then tape them together. Alright, so once you have these two pieces of three already ready to go, you're going to want to, this part's going to be a little tiny bit tricky. So you're going to see here that with the space in between the trigger guard and this part, you're actually going to want to insert these and tape these onto there just like that. And then we're going to eventually cover it in paper and this is where the magazine is going to go in. So go ahead and tape these to this and do the same thing to the other side. Okay, so you can see that all I did was that I taped it onto both sides, still leaving a hole right here to insert the magazine into. So actually, to make it look more realistic, I think what I want to do, I'm going to take this right here by the trigger, and then actually going to angle it down just a little bit. It kind of fits the gun more, and you can go ahead and tape these together so they can look as jagged. Okay, so once you've done that, we're actually going to want to take two pieces of paper and basically just cut it out to size to where you can cover the tubes right here so that it doesn't look like it's two separate pieces, rather it's like one piece. So I'll show you what I mean after I do that. Okay, so you can see that I got that done right here and now we're actually going to move on to make the magazine itself, which is pretty easy. So that is just take a sheet of paper like this, pull it and wrap the hot dog away. Pull it in half again. Just about like this. I'm going to measure this out to make sure that it's pretty close at least. Kind of close. Okay, so they cut off, I'd say, maybe about an inch from this. So you can see that we got this here. I'm going to cut off just about this much from it. 
can see that we got this, and then you're going to want to do the same thing for another sheet of paper. Okay, so once I have these two identical pieces, you're going to want to tape all of the edges so that it's one complete piece of paper. Alright, so then once you have these both taped down together, how we're actually going to make the magazine 3D shaped is that we're going to take a piece of paper like this, fold it the long way, except we're going to want to fold it to the width of what we want our magazine to be. So I'd say maybe an inch or so, but looking at the mag well here, I'm thinking we got, yeah, we got probably about an inch of room there to make our magazine. So just make I'm about an inch wide, just about like that, and then go ahead and fold it the whole way and then tape it all the way. And then once you have this piece, you're going to want to make another piece just like it. Okay, and then you're going to want to take these strips and tape it onto the outside of each um, of the rectangular pieces that we have here. So if you can see here, we're just going to tape it right onto here, and this is actually going to act as the outside of the magazine, and we're going to bend it here as we tape it on here. So basically, this is what the magazine is going to look like in the end. Basically, this is just the side of it, and then you're just going to tape it all the way around. Alright, so you can see here that all I did was just that. just made the, uh, two, the two pieces here, and then I just pretty much wrapped around uh, all the edges here. And then I had to kind of like squeeze these together, that way the magazine will actually fit into there, but you can't really notice once it's in there anyway. So that is basically it. This is the uh, whole gun. I'm going to put the magazine in here. It fits. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty good. Just like that. Okay, and then I'll probably add a video. It's gonna be another like 2.5 video, just like the AK74U, because I'm really running short on time here. Um, I'm gonna show you guys how to make the scope, and then I'm gonna show you guys how to make like some knobs, the cheek rest, and everything else here. And so this is basically it. The L96. I'm gonna back up here so you guys can see the whole thing. Okay. So the L96 right here, and I'm going to show you guys how it shoots. While I was actually editing the first video, I made a uh, paper bullet right here. So then you're just going to take the bolt out like this, put it in, and then I haven't made a blow tube yet, but all you have to do is shoot through the back right there. So I'm going to actually, <laughs> since you guys, I saw some comments where it was like, oh, well, you know, he isn't really shooting it, he's just throwing the bullet, you know making some crazy CGI effects to make it look as though, you know, it's shooting out of the barrel even though um, obviously it was an unedited, unedited video. So, you know, just, just so you guys can see it, I'm going to try and make you uh, look um, at, well, you know, and honestly it's pretty impossible to see um, the actual uh, me shooting it. So, <laughs> just please believe me. I'm actually just blowing through it and this is me just shooting it. So you can see the barrel here, I'm just going to shoot it, aim for that picture right there. And that's pretty good. Works really well. If you had a blow tube on there, it's going to work 10 times better. Okay. So that is basically it. The L96A1 paper tutorial. And remember I'm going to make a 2.5 video on my channel. Um, look it up on my channel after this video. And again, thank you very much for watching. Uh, rate and subscribe if you want to see some more stuff. And uh, I know that I was a little off track with making this one. I was going to make the M60 first, but I tried to make the video and it didn't really work out. So anyway, again, thank you for watching. Find 2.5 2 on my channel, and I guess we'll see you later.